Welcome to day two, you lovely lot. Technically, I think it's day one. Oh, yeah. First of all, it's still travel day. I agree with Tracy. It's day one. What do you think, Daisy? Day one. Day one. It's just gone 6.35. We're heading down to the bus to get on. If you're staying on property, you get, on, get to go onto the parks an hour earlier. So we've left Luke asleep. Our friends are still asleep as well. They're going to meet us in a bit. So we're going to go and ride some rides. I love this place. So one of the things we love so much about our last trip to Universal, the buses are fantastic. Always a bus waiting for you. We didn't have to wait. Don't want to jinx it for this trip, but uh, as I said, that bus just driven off. There's not one coming behind it. So, um, but yeah, the bus transportation here is really, really good. I think it's because they're just going to one park or Volcano Bay, not one park, like City Walk area, which goes into the two parks um, or Volcano Bay. But that one's just pulled off. So fingers crossed there'll be one in a minute. So literally, one left, two seconds later, another one was there. Right, it's five to seven. Uh, the buses take, how long do you reckon? What, the journey? Yeah. Seven minutes? Yeah, seven to ten minutes. Yeah. Not long. Uh, so the extra hours start in about five minutes. So the plan is, head, is to head straight to Hagrid's. It'd be nice if the crowd levels were like this all the time. <clears throat> Last night it was pretty heaving. Right, all through. Crowd seem nice and light-ish. the OG gang. Welcome back to Cheers Is. <laughs> OGs. OG. I'm back <laughs> in business. Uh, I'm the early morning gang. Tracy's decided not to do the ride because she's got some stuff to sort out. She? She's got some like admin to do. I love this. <laughs> Mum's got to do some business. business. Love this area. All the feels. It just. Mega feels. Mega feels. It smells nice and all the like the music. One really important thing to do is when you come in to any area like this, look up. Look up. Just have a look. Have you noticed that windmill up there before? No. But now I have because I looked up. You looked Thanks up. So much. <laughs> Back to the studio. Right. People are running. Just a little public service announcement. Anyone going to the theme park? Don't, don't be the people who run. Ah! No one likes you if you run. Who unlikes you if you run? The security guard will tell you off. Yeah? Stop running. Yeah. The security guard's going to tell you off, and that's just going to be a bit embarrassing for you to save yourself. Boy, oh, you could go splat. Yeah, we watched, to be fair, last time we were here, someone fell over in Safe Landing. Yeah. They, they handled it like a chance, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> keep running. <laughs> that's a little cooler than me. So they've put out like the extra queue bit because I think the ride's currently down, which is heartbreaking for like getting on early, but we're, we're feeling lucky. It should be all right. A lot of people walking backwards through the queue. But, um, it, ta it takes you through this old attraction. Splash. <laughs> to wait so we've been in the queue for about 40 minutes it's moving it is moving but it is moving slowly but we've just put our stuff in the locker and uh yeah probably about 10 15 minutes left I think. right still in the queue 10 past eight and we are heading into the insidey bit They have big gloves. I mean, you don't want to eat one, it's like frog spawn. It's like boba. It's like boba it's like tea. Are <laughs> <laughs> we keeping you awake? Right, so that was. An hour and 45 in the queue, but totally worth it. Oh, so good. I just, so good. 
We got stuck on it for a bit then, I was a bit panicky. <laughs> So it's just brilliant. I, I think that is road for Lost Coast for last night. It's Hagrid's for me. Hagrid's for me, but that felt faster. It did feel it faster. It's the Dragon's Fire. Huh? What's it called? The Dragon's Oh, yeah, when you push the purple button. Yeah, yeah. It's faster. Right, we're going to find the rest of the gang. Right, we have got most of the team with us Tracy and Sarah, Phil and Daisy, and Luke and Jim are still back at the resort. So hopefully they'll be heading over shortly and I think we're going to go for a cheeky Starbucks. Hey! hey. How are we? Good mate, good. How are you? Nice sleep? Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more well rested than I was last night. You were very tired last night. I don't think I've ever been that tired. Yeah. I was so tired. Um, but yeah, up now, ready to rock, sun's out and uh, yeah, it's a good time. Nice! Right, it is quarter past ten, Hulk's whizzing round. We just had a cheeky Starbucks, had a bit of fuel, and we're going to head over and get in the queue for Velociraptor. Yeah! Velocicoaster. Silly, silly, silly. I love this area. Look how colourful it is. Right, so Jim, He's talking his mum into going on to Velocicoaster. I think we're about 80% there. What's the matter with you two? So weird. Right, so we're in the queue. Said it's going to be 85 minutes, which we're fine with. The sun's out. We're not rushing, are we, Daisy? No, uh, we're playing heads up. <laughs> playing heads up. And newsflash. Sarah's joined us as well, so she's going to be riding that in a minute. Daisy, you've not ridden this for five months. How are you feeling? I'm really excited. I'm a bit nervous, but mainly excited. I'm nervous for Mrs. Porridge. Yeah, me too. But, it's, but excited for Mrs. Porridge. Um, yeah. yeah. Does that make you jump, Sarah? Lots of coasts have done that, was amazing. Jim, what do you reckon? Yes, right. You enjoyed it. Brilliant. Awesome, yeah, we were at the back that time, so uh, absolutely terrific. Um, great, great shift for the boys, and uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the day. <laughs> Daisy, how's that? I love it. Sarah, your first ride on it, what do you reckon? Oh my goodness. Right, it is five past twelve, Velocicoaster done, and I think we're going to head to City Walk, yeah. scope it out, maybe make some dining plans for later in the week, but I think the general consensus is, because the park's pretty busy, is to maybe grab a spot of lunch either on City Walk or back at the resort, bit of pool time, might have to go to Walgreens, get some supplies. Yeah, all sounds good. And what's the plan for tonight, do you think? I have no idea what's happening. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Daisy's a bit of a passenger. Right, so yeah, we're gonna suss it out, we're gonna keep it loose and see how we get on. Right, it's coming up to quarter to one and we are going for lunch at one of our favourite places which is NBC Sports Grill Brew. Yeah. Right, this has got to be one of the best tables ever. Yeah. What are the odds, eh? I'll move the football man. Yes. Right, food's arrived. Tracy's gone for a monster sandwich. We're going to share that. It's the tur smoked turkey club. So it looks really nice. Yeah. It does look like it's it a monster. about 300 people. So. We've got a chicken sandwich, which we're going to split with Tracy. Daisy's got a burger. Luke's got some nachos. Baseball's on. Right, lunch was. Oh, that was really, really good. Excellent. I would recommend, if you're vegetarian, the Beyond Burger, like the Beyond Smokehouse, I think it was called. That's the best, like, vegan burger I've ever had. Really good. One thing that I wish I asked for normal cheese, but I'm not. Oh, really did you have, like, the vegan cheese in yeah, it? Yeah, it was quite good, like, yeah. vegan cheese, right? But if you've ever tried vegan cheese, it's not always. That it's not always the, it's not always your favourite. We just can't really taste it. Whereas I would like had I asked for like the cheese they put in like the normal smokehouse burger, I think that would have been a bit better. But it was still delicious. It was like an eight. Yeah. An eight. So the gang are just finishing up in the restaurant and I think we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping.
currently Mardi Gras here at the moment, so we're going to try and do some of the parades, but these trees just full of beads. Oh, this reminds me of that, was it Wicker's World, where they tried to tell people that spaghetti grew on trees? There's a reference for some of you oldies out there. Wicker, it was Wicker's World. It was the 8th and 14th, so it was something like, it might be nationwide or something, it was, it was something like that. And they tried to convince people for April Fool's Day that spaghetti grew on trees, so they threw spaghetti on the tree. It's a bit like that. Look very much like that. Coming up to 26, a nice afternoon by the pool. Daisy, how are we doing? Good. And where are we heading now? We're going to Walgreens. And because we're winners, we're taking the stairs, but this does feel like we're in some sort of dodgy commercial area of the hotel. Right. Well, if you think that's right, you wait till we come out this door. Emergency exit only. Ready? Whoa. Oh. Oh. I, know where I know where we are. Right, so we're going to head to Walgreens. Just need some cereal, some sun cream, some waters, you know, odds and sods. Right, so what we've been doing on like the last trip and this trip is popping to Walgreens just to get essentials. And what's great about the location of this uh, of Dockside and Surfside, probably Surfside even more, is that's the hotel there and Walgreens is just there. So it is literally a five minute walk. So we need some sun cream. I'm tempted to get this. Yeah, there's lots of cool stuff in here. What pretzel nuggets. Luke's asked for something wacky, so we're going to try and find the wackiest things. I'd say pretzel nuggets are quite wacky. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What about... Some plant-based gummies. Oh, I love these, they're well good. Yeah, there's loads of nice sweets. Mm -hmm. Lots of Star Wars. Those are Star Wars earrings, actually. Right, we're thinking this might be a contender for Wacky. I think I remember Luke's a savoury lad. Some uh, glazed honey buns. Mm. These right. are Wacky. That is, I want them. That is Wacky. Yes, please. Right, that's, we're not going to find anything Wacky than that. No. Gherkin flavoured crisps. I feel like we should get something else because if we come back with one thing, Luke will be disappointed. And I've got a bag. Okay, you've got a bag. Right. Right, so we're all back. We got boring stuff. Raisin Bran, Happy Trace. Yes, very happy, thank you. Waters. But we have got some wacky stuff. Are you ready for wacky stuff? I love the wacky Tracy, stuff. Tracy, are you ready for wacky stuff? Oh, wacky Guess stuff. what fa flavour Chris we got? Is it your flavour? Is it like a sweet flavour? No, it is. Pickle. It's dill pickle dill time. Pickle. It's dill pickle time. So we've got that. Daisy, next out the bag, please. Got some flaming hot. Got some flaming hot Chester fries. Ooh. We're excited for those. Yes. What else we got? We didn't get a lot, so don't get too excited. I'm very excited. We got some Takis meat sticks. Hell yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> and milk. Got some milk. <laughs> and there wasn't there like a cheese stick? Oh, I got a cheese stick because I saw it and I want it. So we got it. Oh, and a straw. And a straw. Now this is a pretty wacky selection of foods, so... Uh... I'm really excited to try it. I don't know why I'm still in like, I keep doing like interview mode. Yeah. On these vlogs. I like it, I'm gonna keep doing it. No, so, I'm stop doing it. Right, so we're probably- say, Excuse the state of the room. We haven't had housekeeping today because we've been in and out of the room at times when they wanted to get in here. But you know, we're just- We're, we're, we're just living our lives. We're going with it. Right, it is quarter past six. We are just got to sort our hair out and we're heading down to the bus stop because we are heading over into the park, hopefully catching we're some right. Mardi Gras stuff. Um, I'm oh, sorry. That's right, just shove, just shove me around. Sorry. And um, yeah, go for dinner. Hopefully, going to go to the Hard Rock for dinner tonight. Yeah. Fingers crossed. So, we'll see in a bit what we tried so far. I've got a meat stick. I'm just trying the, uh, the dill pickle crisps. The crisps taste like if you got a gherkin from fish and chips and then like got like some juice that was on it and like put it in like a crisp packet. It's quite good. They're all right. Yeah. Meat sticks are a bit, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, let me know if this is all over America. Actually, don't let me know, I don't really care. But the meat sticks over here. So you had Slim Jims and stuff. The casing is weirdly soft. Okay. Oh, I love it. Good, right? Mm. 
You put it back in the bag if you don't want the rest. It's pretty good though. Yeah. Not spicy. Oh yeah, yeah, no. Ooh. Well, that's like zooey. Wow, that's really spicy. That's good. Yeah. It's like the crisps. You tried the. Uh, no. oh, I like that. And these are the hot fries. That meat stick was well spicy. Did you just have a spicy meat stick? I just had a spicy meat stick. That's my nickname at school. That like spicy meat stick. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, plenty of that from Luke. Right. Ooh. The meat stick was the, the meat stick was the winner for me. There we go. I've said it. Um, right. We are going to spruce up and head down to the bus stop. Right, it is coming up for five past seven. We are heading into City Walk uh, because we're going to go and see if we can catch out the Mardi Gras parade. A bit, but the teeth in first. Right, we are finally back at Universal Studios. I think I like the feels at Universal Studios more than. I prefer Twilight of Adventure actually, I think. Yeah. yeah. We've got some funky jazz going. Yeah, I, I just think there's just something about it. There's the, well, it's the theming, because it's all studios created, and I like Hollywood Studios and Disney World as well. So maybe that's just that's what it is. It reminds me of Hollywood Studios. And we got a spot right here for the Mardi Gras parade. And I think we're going to do the Bourne Stuntacular, which is sort of over there afterwards, maybe. Stop it. What? We are now in the hard rock for dinner. What do you think? Tim Ball's been driving. <laughs> <laughs> He's been around. Mum's been driving again. 
It does good. smell great. What do you go for, Dave? Salmon noodle rolls. Uh, chicken bowl. Uh, chicken bowl. What do you go for? I want to compare our Pittsburghs to mine. So I wanted the Diablo Smash Burger. Ooh. Uh, feel like I, said, I think, feel like I said Diablo in a way. I said Diablo. Diablo. You know that? I'm trying a bloody burger today. It's a Diablo one. Well, this is a really, really good meal. And how cool is this place here? How was your dinner, first of all? Oh, I, I had the um, fajita flavoured chicken bowl with the quinoa and like and gallo and lots of nice stuff in it. It was lovely, really tasty. Really nice. Tasty. How was your dinner, Beat right. Man? very nice thanks i need to do a workout <laughs> i feel i feel unhealthy i feel like the first day we got here i was at the pool and i was like i've done all right here i was looking good and immediately i've eaten loads of food and, and, and uh, so i'm sort of in the same it's, day one. it's day one. only day one this place looks really cool this like steampunky restaurant we've never been in there anyway Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers. Cheers is. Cheers is.